What's the spring been like so far with you kind of coming back as the only true starter? All of you, Eric's been in there a lot and Troy and Dior, but what's it been like kind of being the anchor in this group? I think it's been going great so far. I mean, I feel like as a defensive backfield that we've been able to advance, I guess, our knowledge of the defense. We're running a lot more things that we would usually wouldn't run in spring ball. So I guess you would say that our coaches has us, has us prepared for this year. From a leadership standpoint, does this feel like your defense? Um, I guess, yeah, I guess you could say that, but at the same time, I mean, we have a lot of older guys, senior guys that this is our last chance. So, I mean, we're all, this, we're all leading the defense and we're all trying to figure out how we can be better leaders. What's that mean for you? How do you become a better leader? I think just being more vocal, holding guys accountable more. I mean, sometimes you're not going to be 100% into it, but that's my job to get the guys to make sure that they're at least showing that they're putting full effort in. So I guess you would say, yeah, more vocal and making sure just keep Setting set an example for the younger guys, whether it's me making sure I'm playing through each play or making sure I'm always on time for every meeting. So that's what I got to do this year. You obviously made the decision to come back, and you, you're happy with that decision. But is there a part of you at, around draft time where you start to think about that a little bit? Um, not at all. I mean, when I first made the decision, I thought about it. But now I haven't really thought about it at all. I'm happy to be here. I mean, I'm happy to just get back, become a better player and move on to the next season. Process, what he's been going through um, for your future? I mean, I'm watching it from the outside in, so I mean, I can say I, I don't really know exactly what it would be like, but I'm watching it from guys that have been here and they're, now they've went through that process, so I mean, it does help. How do you handicap the other corner race? Obviously, you're, you're established, you're the guy, but you know, Dior, Troy, even maybe Cissé, Dominique, what do you think about those guys on their side of you? I mean, it's going to be competitive where, through from the corners to the safeties. Coach Neal is going to just play the best four guys, right? Whether if it's Reggie at corner or Eric Dargan at corner, he's going to put the four best guys in. So I think really it's competition for everybody. And, you know, you can't have any off days because guys want to play. And we have guys that are have been waiting in the wing and they're just as capable as any other player out there. Do you have to guard against being complacent, knowing that you're, you're the guy and you're kind of not in one of those competitions in a sense? I mean, I'm competing every day with Eric Dargan. I mean, we had a little individual competition with each other, seeing who can make the most plays so far. I guess he's he's winning right now, but I mean, he's got more plays thrown to him. But I guess you would say just friendly competition every day is how you stay, don't don't become complacent and just keep trying to get better. So even Marcus tries to throw away from your side? Um, No, but I mean, at playing cornerback compared to safety, you're around the ball a lot more at safety. A lot of spring ball is competition and um, learning at practices, but being a vet, have, what have you learned this spring? I mean, just learn that it's just a daily process, really. I mean, this is the third year I'm into spring ball now, and I feel like every day you're learning something new. I mean, I understand pretty much most of the defense, but I feel every day I'm learning something that I didn't know before, and I feel like it's just going to keep evolving my game. What's an example of that? Um, I guess you would say this year just more of just – Pre-recognition, I guess that's something that we really emphasize this off-season. Just understanding what routes team, what routes the offense can possibly run in that set, and knowing what what's a running set, what's a passing set, and how you can play to your strengths in those. Derek Mullen said you're going to be one of the guys picking the teams for the spring game. Mm -hmm. uh, how are you going to go about picking, picking your team? I don't know. I mean, probably mix up with some younger guys that you know are going to play a lot in the game, and then the older guys that are there and that I know that are ready to play. So. I'm not really sure. I have to see who gets the first pick. Derek said he should be the first pick. Would he be guy that you would pick first? Um, I mean, if I have the first pick, I might go DB first just because I'm a DB, but we'll see. What does Don Pelham mean for you as a corner and what he's, he's brought to this defense? Well, I would say just that. I just say every day, just relentlessness. I guess you would say, really, he just comes with that mindset really every day, whether what you did yesterday. What you're planning on doing today, it's, it's just consistent. Rather being here, everyone has to be here at 7 a.m. for treatment or everyone needs to be five minutes early to meetings. He's that guy that you slip up one time, he's going to make sure that you know. And it, I think that's helped us out a lot. Have you found that out so Yeah, far? definitely. He's holding everybody. I mean, he's holding everybody accountable. Today we had a couple guys late um, a minute to, or even maybe 30 seconds late, and he's right on it. And all the coaches now are just feeding off of that and they're just keeping, I mean, I think that our overall, um, I guess you say our overall just mindset to football has changed a lot since Coach Pellin became the coach. What's the, uh, One more what's question. The, what's the 30 second late penalty? 
30 second late, depending on your coach. I mean, it might he might let the leaders, squad leaders decide, or he might just make you roll, maybe run, maybe come in early, or maybe just talk to you. So it's really up to your coach.